everything is gone. They're totally empty. Everything in this world is absolutely empty. But now I have found the truth. Amen. I found the everlasting satisfaction of knowing my God. I love him and I wouldn't trade him for anything in the world. Amen. I am confident that even if God did what he did to Job with me, I would still praise God, you know? Even if he took my health, if he took my family away, Amen. I would say, just give me Jesus. Even while I'm there sick and dying, I would say, just give me Jesus. Amen. My friends, I, I pray that everyone out here, that they realize the love of Jesus. Amen. It's indescribable. It compels a man to change his life, to, to give his whole life to Jesus. Amen. Okay, it's okay. The things of this world wage war against our souls. Our souls are so important. You know, our bodies are important, but how much more important is our soul? Our soul that lasts forever. Amen. And, and the enemy is in this world trying to, trying to get us into things that it's just going to drive us into a place that nothing else in the world. So we can be marital sex and all these things. You know? Amen. with this empty soul yes and i know a, i know a satisfaction that satisfies you right to the very core of who you are amen and it's called knowing jesus christ amen it's called worshiping jesus christ and being in his presence my friends you can do all the drugs you can have all the money in this world but when you really know jesus and you invite him into your heart you will experience what life is about yes we were made to worship and glorify Hi, brother jesus how are you christ. long time man you're doing good you look good man Christ has said he's the way, it means, it means he's the only way. And when he said he's the truth, that means everything else is a lie. Yes. And when he said he's, he's the life, everything else is death. My friend, Jesus Christ is the way. Make the decision. We don't know when, when we're going to pass away. We don't know if we have tomorrow. Yes. If we have Jesus, we have a confident hope that we are going to see him in glory. And we're going to walk up to that way. He, he was the first one to make that way. He was the first one to walk up to ancient doors and he was the first one to enter in you know and the bible says <laughs> that he said open up all ancient gates that the king of glory may come in he made a way and now we can follow in that same way with jesus amen so eternal life amen and eternity worshiping our god what better life what is better than this nothing nothing is better than this amen brother i love jesus that's all i know <laughs> <laughs> amen man praise god Praise God. Who's next? I, I know Justify. You know, I'm so glad I'm part of the family of God. So I want to say, if I didn't have Jesus in my heart, I know I'd be lost in the world that is lost. Yes. In the world I don't understand. Who is it, what does it mean? What does it mean? What is the definition of comes to Jesus Christ, the Nazarene? Well, Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and the light. He shed his blood. I cower that we, we may be saved. Yes. Amen, brother. Oh. Hallelujah. God's worthy, man. We glorify the Son of God, Jesus. The character of God in flesh. This is Brother Marcel, man. He's got a disability, man. You Christians, you don't have an excuse, man. Barcel has a, 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 a speech disability and some other disabilities. And look at him preach the gospel, man. Man, he's compelled by the Spirit of God, the one passion for souls. Not your other passions for sports and entertainment. And your fun times, man. I hope the Spirit of God can fix people who are watching this video, man. Disabled brother preaching the gospel. Jesus is here to revive us, O Lord. Revive us again. For the Christ of Jesus that died for our sins. Yes. Who died on Calvary. Who shed blood. Yes. And his blood will be shed. Yes. And his blood, we will remember his blood and his resurrection. His life. That when we die, we're our soul go to heaven. When you die today, where does it make soul go? Will we go to heaven to be the Lord for eternity, for this joy? Or will we go 
go to hell with destruction. But first of fire. And we fall down forever. There's no lead place in hell. But there's nobody to walk on. But we can walk with Jesus today. Yes. That seems to come in today. Man. And Jesus says blood. For sinners, for you, for me, he shed his blood. Amen, Marcel. We drank, uh, we drank, uh, we, the bread he gave us for hope. And then uh, why he gave us, he drank uh, what he did for us to remember what he did for us on the cross. Yes. Until the end of the world. We give us hope for today, hope for tomorrow. Yes. For what may come tomorrow, we live one day as it is. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. I'd rather see Jesus in my heart. The cross is in my heart. It's there. We to see what's going on in the world today. There's destruction. There was hate for destruction. We know that there's a great God. We're not following His word. But today is a day to follow. To ask a day of heart. In the name of Jesus. What a mighty name. The name of God. What a loving name. The name of Jesus. Everybody say. What a lovely name. <laughs> Amen. What a lovely name. The name of Jesus. Amen. The world today. Amen. What a lovely name. Paul the Apostle says in 1 Corinthians 9.16, It's out of necessity I go, but woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel. It's out of love we go. But if you don't think God cares about you not going and telling him people about eternal life, you're fooling yourself. Read Romans 1.18. The wrath of God is revealed upon those who hold Jesus, who holds eternal life in his hands in unrighteousness. Go and tell the truth, Toronto, wherever you are in the world. Proclaim the name, proclaim the character, and live it today in Jesus' name. Amen. Go ahead, bro. Testify, Anthony. Testify. Bold as a lion. The righteous are bold as a lion, the Bible says. That's right, we're righteous because of Christ's shed blood. Because Jesus died for our sins. Okay. We call old friends and relatives. How close are we to our community? Church or not church, any community all needs to have that to pull close themselves together uh, wherever we go. And, and that very message is so strong. And it's not that you can demonstrate it in any way. If, if you have to see it, if you have to understand it in a different way in which uh, you, you can just understand it, not even by speaking. It's so, just so close to our hearts that we know of it and we move by it. And how many people will hear something when we talk about it? If I speak to you about things about love, am I truly loving? If I'm able to capture your, your thoughts and your attention for a moment, an audience for a moment, to speak something so powerfully loving, or something that touches you. And then I, I speak to you knowing that you have to think about both of I'm, I'm personally a person that has to, to, to show up for you something, but to know and understand. How much of the Father, how much the Father knows of your prayers, how much the Father wants to hear these things, and knows even the smallest murmurs from you. He knew you from when you were a child, he knows you today, every moment of your life, you should never forget these things. Never forget All the time he's watching you. Do we recognize and acknowledge you? How often? 
asking you to return our, our thoughts. You know, people might read the Bible, but I know people, even if they don't believe in Christianity, even if they don't, they seek something more. Whether philosophy, whether it's Buddhism or anything, people seek more love or something, a hunger for knowledge and understanding. But why do we need to look anywhere else? You know, my, I mean, the simplest command is to love our neighbor as ourselves. If we love even the person next to us, maybe we look to our own parents, we look to people and just love them and just say thank you for a day and appreciate what they've done for us in their lives. Might that not be doing so much more than going about without thinking of our family, without thinking of things, and just stopping for a moment to consider how much love there is all around us. To have that beauty and to recognize these things, to stop moving around, busy thinking about all these things. You know, we have studies, we have all these things, but we always long for an escape. Why is it divided that we have love on one component, and we have one, this place that we want to escape to, and our lives in a different place? There needs to be a unity <laughs> that we're always loving wherever we go. And then people are listening, and people might not hear segments, but there, it has to be a flow in our lives. You know, it's not like I'm one person here right now, and I'm a different person here. No, I'm a single person. All of me is who I am, my past memories and experiences, every part of me. And again, then I might speak something from Rowan. How much time do I have? I mean, these, <laughs> to catch a person's audience. And I've known Joel for a year, yeah. And it's like, I haven't seen him for quite a while. But, you know, just to be able to, to be his brothers the moment I see him. And, and all, all that we do. Yeah, that's it. The love of God. And without that, we don't have anything. I mean, I remember a time when I, I had been in a state where I couldn't do things, and it was a state of such, you know, there's a whole thing you, you can't operate doing any basic things. Uh, I mean, I can, I can talk about it, that's one thing. Once again, like, how do we understand that? I mean, what's the most painful memory that you have, something that you should have? passing these things by, what are we going to know? What are we going to move from just love? Like, you know, people might have hobbies. How often do we sit down and just share these things? That's the wonder of life. Just be at peace. <laughs> and seek out those things of love. Yeah, and, and you know what the word is? <laughs> That's right, you can only... That's right. You can you can only love what you have. And what is love? No greater love has any man than that he would what? <laughs> Lay down his life for his That's right. Yeah. And so, you know, I, I'm speaking here. I'm kind of moving around different points. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I mean uh, what might I speak? Whenever you want, you can just stop. I think the boys have uh, lost their train for now. Yeah.